Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for February the 7th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Sanofi indicated that business earnings per share will grow between 2% and 5% this year, boosted by the planned acquisitions of BioVerative and Ablinx. CEO Olivier Brandicor said after a period of significant reshaping since 2015, we are positioned to drive growth in 2018. Also in the news, GlaxoSmithKline warned that earnings per share growth could be flat to down 3% this year if a substitutable generic version of Adver launches in the US mid-year. The company noted that in such a scenario, annual Adver sales in the US will fall to around £750 million. In other news, Gilead Sciences said that product sales will be in the range of $20 billion to $21 billion this year, below analyst expectations of $21.3 billion. The drug maker forecasts that sales of hepatitis C drugs will be between $3.5 billion and $4 billion, short of analyst predictions of $5.45 billion. In addition, Biogen will end development of T-Sabri in acute ischemic stroke after a Phase 2b study failed to meet its primary and secondary efficacy goals. In the Action 2 trial, which included 270 individuals who had a clinical diagnosis of acute ischemic stroke, both doses of T-Sabri did not demonstrate improvement in clinical outcomes compared to placebo. And finally... Lumbeck's fourth quarter sales reached 4.4 billion Danish krona, up from 4.2 billion krona in the year-ago period. The company noted that growth was primarily driven by Brintelix, Trintelix, Northera, Onfi and Rexalti. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.